Hey guys, hope you all are having an amazing day. This is Kevin and you're watching Khao Piyo Must You. And I'm back with another winter special recipe that is methi chicken curry. Hope you all like it. Let's go make it. To make methi chicken in a pan, add 4 tablespoons of oil. After the oil is heated, add 2 sliced onions. Fry until the onions become translucent. And then I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. After the raw smell is gone, I'm going to add some curry leaves and 2 green chilies. Give it a nice stir and then I'm going to add 500 grams of chicken. Cook the chicken for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, you can see that the chicken is starting to change its color. Now I'm going to add 4 diced tomatoes. Now I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of Kashmiri chili powder. Half tablespoon of turmeric powder, one spoon of coriander powder, salt as per taste. Mix well. Give it a stir. And now I'm going to add handful of methi. That is two bunches of choti methi. Now I'm also going to add two potatoes cut into halves. This is optional. You can skip this part. Mix everything well. Now I'm going to cover this with a lid and let it cook for 20 minutes on medium low flame. After 20 minutes, Give it a nice stir. And now I'm going to garnish with some chopped coriander leaves. Turn off the flame. Methi chicken curry is done and is ready to be served hot. You can serve it with hot rice or roti. Methi chicken curry came out really well and if you like this super easy recipe please do try it and please do subscribe like comment and share Khao Piyo Must Yo. Hey guys, hope you all are having an amazing day. This is Kevin and you're watching Khao Piyo Must You. And today I'm going to show you how to make a winter special recipe that is pepper chicken. So let's go make it. To make pepper chicken, first heat a pan and add 4 tablespoons of oil. After the oil is heated, add 2 slices of onion. Fry till the onions become translucent and then add 6 to 8 green chilies. I'm using light green chilies. If you're using uh, dark green chilies, you can just use 4 to 5 chilies. These are not too spicy. Saute it for 2 to 3 minutes and then add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste.
after the raw smell goes off add 500 grams of chicken I'm using chicken legs you can use curry cut let it cook for 5 minutes on high flame and now when the chicken starts to change its color add 1 tablespoon of turmeric powder salt as per taste mix well give it a nice stir and then cover with the lid and let it cook for 15 minutes on low flame after 15 minutes add 1 tablespoon of pepper powder mix well give it a nice stir and add lemon juice garnish with handful of coriander leaves and now pepper chicken is done and is ready to be served hot with white rice and rasam Hey guys, hope you all are having an amazing day. This is Kevin and you're watching Khao Pio Masjo. And today's recipe is going to be tomato chicken curry. Hope you all like it. Let's go make it. To make tomato chicken curry in a pan, add 4 tablespoons of oil. After the oil is heated, I'm going to add half spoon of cumin, half spoon of mustard seeds, 2 dried red chilies. Three cloves of garlic. When cumin and mustard seeds starts to crackle, add two chopped onions. Fry the onions till they become light brown. When the onion starts to change its color, I'm going to add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. After the raw smell of ginger garlic paste is gone, I'm going to add two green chilies sliced and handful of curry leaves. Stir fry for a minute or two and then I'm going to add four to five chopped tomatoes. Now I am going to add 2 tablespoons of red chilli powder, half tablespoon of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of coriander powder and salt as per taste. Mix well. Now cover with a lid and let the masala cook for 5 to 10 minutes. 
after 10 minutes you can see that the oil is getting separated from the masala and I also forgot to mention that you need to cook the masala on a medium flame and now when the masala is almost done I am going to add 500 grams of chicken let the chicken cook for 5 minutes after 5 minutes I am going to add 1 glass of water Give it a nice stir. Now cover with a lid and let it cook for 15 minutes on medium flame. After 15 minutes, chicken curry is almost done. At this point, taste and add more salt if needed. Now I am going to add one spoon of garam masala powder and one spoon of kasuri methi this is optional mix well stir fry for a minute or two and your chicken curry is done garnish with some freshly chopped coriander leaves give it a nice stir tomato chicken curry is done you can serve it hot with roti or steamed rice. This one is really a must try recipe. So guys, tomato chicken curry came out really well. Hope you all liked the recipe. If you did, please do subscribe, like, comment and share. How pure must you. Hey guys, hope you all are having an amazing day. This is Kevin and you are watching How Pure Must You. And today I am going to make one of my favorite recipes. That is Gungura chicken. So let's go make it. So first of all we are going to heat up the pan and add some gungura leaves that is about 250 grams. Now add half glass of water. Let the leaves cook properly. As you can see the leaves are changing its color. Start mashing the leaves with your with the spoon. You don't have to make it into a fine paste, but uh, you just have to mash it a little bit. Now, as you can see, all the leaves are mashed properly. You can just switch off the flame and keep this aside. In another pan. Add 5 tablespoons of oil, 500 grams of chicken, three medium sliced onions. Add four tomatoes. As I do not have normal tomatoes, I'm adding handful of cherry tomatoes. handful of green chilies and handful of curry leaves mix everything well now add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste 
वन टेबल स्पून रेड चिल्ली पाउडर हाफ टेबल स्पून टर्मरिक पाउडर एड सॉल्ट एज पर टेस्ट मिक्स एवरीथिंग वेल Cover with lid and let it cook for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, now you can add already cooked gongura. Mix everything well. and now you can add handful of garlic so you might be wondering why so much of garlic trust me guys gongura and garlic is the best combination i wish you guys could really smell this it smells really good and now cover with lid again and let it cook for 10 more minutes and it will be done After ten minutes, you can see that the curry is done. Just give it a quick mix. Gongura chicken is ready to be served. Serve hot with roti or steamed rice. सो हे गाइस गोंगुरा करी इट्स रियली गुड इट केम आउट रियली वेल प्लीज डू ट्राई इट एंड प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर खाओ पियो मस्त यू Hey guys, hope you all are having an amazing day. This is Kevin, and you are watching Khao Pio Masjid. And today, I am going to show you how to make Haryali chicken recipe. So let's go make it. To make Haryali chicken curry, first we need to marinate the chicken. In a bowl, I am going to take 500 grams of chicken. Now I am going to add lemon juice. Half tablespoon of turmeric powder, salt as per taste, and two tablespoons of curd. Mix everything well. Now let the chicken marinate for fifteen to thirty minutes. Till the chicken gets marinated, let's make a hara masala paste. To make hara masala paste. I am going to take five green chilies in a jar, a handful of coriander and mint leaves. Grind and make paste. Hara masala paste is ready. And now, in a pan, I am going to add four spoons of oil. After the oil is heated, I am going to add two sliced onions. Fry the onions until they become translucent, and then I'm going to add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Fry until the raw smell is gone, and then add marinated chicken.
Let it cook for 5 minutes till the chicken starts to change its color. And now I am going to cover this with a lid and let it cook for 10 minutes on medium flame. After 10 minutes, now I am going to add hara masala paste. Mix well and let it cook for 5 more minutes. At this point you can check if more salt is needed. Add more salt if needed. After 5 minutes, I am going to add half spoon of garam masala powder. And I am also going to add 1 tablespoon of kasuri meat. This is optional, you can skip this part. Give it a nice stir and your Haryali chicken curry is done and it's ready to be served. Haryali chicken curry is done and is ready to be served. You can serve it with zira rice, steamed rice or roti. Haryali chicken curry came out really well. Hope you all liked the recipe and if you did, please do subscribe, like, comment and share. Khao Piyo Masjiyo.